Good morning everyone! Today we're gonna do legs which I'm really excited about because this past weekend we went to Barcelona. I just got back yesterday morning and I was up since like 4 in the morning. I was so tired and hungry. I just came home, showered, ate, took a nap and just was like lazy the whole day which was awesome. I loved it. But we're back now. We're back to the normal routine. So I'm excited to finally go back to the gym because I haven't gone in three days because I wasn't going to be worrying about working out while I was on vacation. But before we do legs, I wanted to show you guys um, what I'm going to eat this morning. On Snapchat last time I put a smoothie that I made, like a berry smoothie. And like four of my friends messaged me and they were like, dude, that was so good. Like I tried it and it was really good. And they're super easy and I don't know, I really like smoothies for breakfast. Like it just like freshens you up and it just... Makes you have a good day, even though I really like eggs too. Like, it's either smoothies or eggs. I really love those too. Let me know if you guys have favorite smoothies that I could try because I love smoothies. Alright guys, so for this smoothie, I am doing a banana smoothie because I saw it last time. All the ingredients you need are really simple. I'm pretty sure you guys probably have them at home. All I used was um, almond milk, unsweetened, a little bit of ground cinnamon, obviously a banana, some oats and I added my favorite protein which is coconut ice cream from One Up Nutrition. I love that protein and that brand. And then you just throw everything together in the blender. I kind of really don't measure what I was throwing in there. I just kind of did it as however much I wanted from each ingredient. And then you just blend all of it and it's easy peasy, lemon squeezy and it's so good. And this at the end, these are my macros for my whole breakfast including the bagel. All right, guys, so don't judge me because this is a beer mug. As you can see, we got it for free ones. We don't have big cups. We have like small ones. So this was like perfect for the smoothie. And we really don't drink beer. You guys know my drink of choice is wine. So it's clean. I don't think we've ever used it. It smells good. I'm just going to pour it in here. And I don't think it's going to fit. Maybe it will. Will it? Yay. Okay. Perfect. You guys see that dog over there? His name is Speedy. He's my friend. Speedy! <laughs> Alright guys, so this is the end result of my breakfast. I'm also going to eat a bagel with it um, and a little bit of peanut butter and apricot preserves. I'll screw that in because I say bagel, but I guess it's bagel. I don't know, I say it wrong. And I feel like... Sometimes I'm like, well, English is my second language, but that shouldn't be an excuse. <laughs> I should try harder to like speak right and like pronounce things good. So if I say something that sounds weird, I'm sorry. I apologize. It's totally fine if you guys correct me and tell me like in the comments like, hey, that was kind of weird. I'll be like, all right, I know now. But anyway, um, I don't know. Let's try it. Let's see how it is. Mm. Oh, it's really good. You guys should try it, definitely. It's super much sweeter than last week because, like I said, I let the banana ripen a little bit more. There's still snow up in the mountains. We've made it to the gym. Uh, the house is finally kind of clean, cleaner than yesterday, and finally got some loads of laundry going. Obviously, it's been snowing up there, and it looks really pretty. I like it. I like to look at the snow, but I don't really like to touch the snow. <laughs> uh, I like the snow, but I'm really just looking forward for summer. I'm tired of this cold weather. I want it to be nice and warm to go and get a tan and go to the beach and wear shorts and dresses and do more outdoor activities because I don't like the winter that much. This Texas girl prefers sunny days. Um, so yeah, we made it to the gym and today I don't have anybody to record me because I'm coming by myself. Usually Oscar is the one that's like recording me and he's my cameraman. But today I'm by myself so I'm going to try to get good footage for you guys. So sometimes if some angles might be kind of weird but I'll try to get good footage. I'm at the mom gym as we call it. Um, so they only have one squat rack which is kind of crazy but I'm still going to try and go get it and see if i can use it or not but i wanted to come to this gym because i have a sauna and i love the sauna
doing is going to stoke. Alright guys, welcome to the commentary part of the vlog. So I decided to switch up my warm-up a little bit. I usually just jump on the treadmill or the bicycle. But this time I decided to do some jumping, some jump rope. And I used this band that I bought recently to help me keep some pressure on my legs as I do some squats. Just make sure that I will go down and up to get that nice stretch before I actually get on the bar. I also started doing the side shuffle lunges and it was like it looks easy but when you're done you're we're like sweating and it's a really really good warm-up I think I'm gonna start doing this instead of just jumping on the treadmill and then I just started to stretch <laughs> um, I know this doesn't look really glamorous like you know your regular fitness youtuber or model but this is just me like my raw self no filter or anything so you're gonna see me like making funny faces um, so I finally got to the bar and this is my first set which is just my warm-up set so I just do it with a bar no weights then I finally started my first working set um, I decided to go a little bit light on this workout so my first set I'm just doing 15 pounds on each side making sure I go deep enough and that I squeeze my glutes at the top This is my second set and I added a little bit more weight so I have 20 pounds on each side and the same thing making sure I go deep enough that I squeeze my glutes at the top and that I'm just trying to focus on my form that's why I didn't really add a lot of weight <laughs> like I said I'm sorry this was the only angle I could get because I don't have anyone recording me so I look kind of weird guys but Oh well, it is what it is. So I wanted to focus on my quads on this workout. So I started doing some front squats and front squats you target your quads a little bit more. So my first set, I just did 10 pounds on each side, nothing crazy, making sure I go down and squeeze my glutes at the top. And when you're doing your front squats, make sure that you keep your elbows up. Now this is just a warning, um, your wrist will hurt a little bit because you're using them like you're twisting them a little bit so I do recommend using some wrist straps if that bothers you it doesn't really bother me I just shake it off at the end this is my second set and I added 15 pounds on each side I actually did three sets but I didn't record the last one and on the last one I did 20 pounds on each side so then I went on to the leg extension and okay the leg extension Oscar kills me on this one so what we do we do three sets the first set we do 10 single ones so regular up and down and then the last five we hold so you will see right now that I do one and then I hold for three seconds and then I go down then I go up hold for three seconds and then I go down so that is one set on the second set you do the same thing twice and then on the third set you do the same thing three times so you do 10 working 10 regular ones five holding 10 regular ones five holding 10 regular ones five holding we obviously have to rest in between because it really really burns but we try to rest between the 10 regular ones and the five holding ones so we try not to break that um, ratio that we have and just make sure to really stretch those out because your legs will feel like jello and my camera fell I was so sad I wanted to show you guys my reaction I was like oh my god my camera all right but it survived it's all good we're still good guys then I moved on to doing these lunges forward and back um, so you're gonna really burn out your quads on this one because you already pre-exhausted them from the leg extensions before so these were pretty difficult I did 10 on each leg so forward and back that's one so if you count one and one it would be a total of 20 um, but it's better to just count forward and back one that way you think you're doing less <laughs> Um, and then I decided to finish with a burnout set of squats and this was just like the cherry on top because at the end it just really hurt my quads it hurt real good <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense um, but I just wanted to make sure I went all the way down all the way up keeping my weight on my heels 
and I hope you guys like this workout. Let me know if you try it. All right, can you guys see me? <coughs> okay, so we're inside the sauna. I think, I think that the workout was really good. I hate coming into the gym without having an idea of what I'm gonna work out. I kind of like to like either look at bodybuilding.com, which is where I'd love to get workouts, especially on their YouTube page because I'm a visual learner, so I like to see it. But like today, I knew I wanted to do legs. I knew I wanted to focus on my quads. So I kind of just threw this together, and surprisingly, it worked pretty well. I know a good amount of hamstrings and glutes uh, workouts for those areas, but quads is kind of weird for me. I am mean, trying to grow my quads, so I'm trying to work out my quads once a week at least or more. Obviously, when you do like leg day, you kind of work like squats it's like for everything it's not just for like your glutes it also works out your quads but anyway i don't want to be talking so much especially because it's really hot in here it's kind of talk to talk it's kind of hard to talk and think so i think i'm going to end the vlog here i hope you guys like this vlog um i want to implement more fitness things on my youtube channel because i know i do a lot of traveling which i love but also fitness is a big part of my life i think it's something that i really like and I know a lot of my friends or people that I know are kind of scared of the gym or don't know where to start. So I would like to help and I'm not the most knowledgeable person. I'm not a trainer. I just know what I, I've been doing for the past years. I worked out since eighth grade when I joined track and ever since then I've been an athlete. So I do know a little bit. I'm happy to share it with whoever wants to know. So I hope you guys like this vlog. I hope you guys try this workout because I feel my quads really burning right now. And um, don't forget to stay humble, work hard, and be happy. So see you guys on the next vlog. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Ciao.